Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Summers Bison. We've got a problem. This pond goes dry every year. During the grazing season, we need this pond for our bison. Bison pond makeover, it starts today. Let's get it going. Hey girls, good morning. Let's feed our ladies here, feed our turkeys, and see if we can call up the yearlings and feed them. Ladies. Morgan, Morgan, Morgan Wild. There's yours, Good girl. Turkey's next. Why are you such a sloppy eater? Why are you such a sloppy eater? Come on, bullet. Come on, kids. Woo! I also want to thank Upside for sponsoring us today. All right. Let's go get some cubes to the Big Joe herd and check on them. How about that? Up in there, man. Come on, bullet. Load up. Come on, Maya. Load up. Maya, let's go. Let's go. Come on, dog. Good girl. 3C day. First guy up. Big go. You gotta name the big bull. Hey, girl. Hey everybody, let's get some cubes going here. She's late to the party. <laughs> She's like, oh. So one of the reasons why we're doing our 3C cube feeder today is uh, we've been doing this a couple days a week here for the Big Joe herd is because I don't know if you can tell, but it is extremely dry here. Uh, we've had these dry conditions for a while. Get back there, 82. Christy, it's been about another month since we've had rain again. And so we've had little spurts of rain, not even enough rain to really absorb in the ground. It's probably most of it is absorbed in the air and gone. So it's very brown. A lot of Oklahoma is. Our weather hasn't got cold enough to really start turning the grass over for fall yet. We're already rolling out hay uh, with the hydro bed this year. And then we're giving them cubes. Turkey's taken care of, horse is taken care of. Big Joe Herd's got their treats for today using our 3c cattle feeder uh, we've got to go get gas we've got to get diesel we're headed over to the burn unit to work on the pond that you guys recommended to us to clean out our pond is completely dry so we're getting prepared and we're going to start cleaning that pond out and making it bigger today it's going to be a bison pond should be fun big joe he loves this cube feeder hey big fella you gonna let me back to my truck He's just looking for more cubes. All right, we're gassed up. Got the diesel with us. I'm gonna stop out here. I've got this block going. Looks like they're eating it. I'm gonna spread some of our, this is actually bison feed. For them, see if they like it. Or... Jackie, what are you munching on? All right, now we can finally make it to the skid steer. 
Whenever I go to get gas or diesel, I specifically go to a one convenience store in Sulphur, and that's because it offers deals with the Upside app. Here's how much I've earned just in three or four times I've gone to fill up my truck. I and mean, it's easy because you can open the app up, you can claim your offer before you pump the gas or hours after you pump the gas. You're like, oh man, I forgot. That's okay. With the Upside app, you can find your store in the location and claim your offer hours later. Could be your groceries too. Maybe you went to the grocery store, you're running around with the kids and it could be chaos. We understand that. And you forget to claim your offer at your favorite restaurant or grocery store. Because it's connected to your card, you can go back and claim your offer. No matter what, if it's a business or if it's your living expenses, let's be honest, it's not fun to go buy fuel as a business, this is a need. We have to have fuel to run our operation, to maintain the land, to feed our animals. Using the AppSide app is completely easy. Just by a click of a button, you can claim your offer and get cash back. Let it build up over time and you can do anything you want with it. And when I say cash back, it's actually real cash back, not a point system cash back into your pocket. Top earners on Upside are getting up to $300 cash back per month. There's over 100,000 gas stations, grocery stores, and restaurants on the free Upside app. To find out how much you can earn, click on the link in the description and download the Upside app. Use the code BISON, get an extra 25 cents back on every gallon on your first tank of gas. Or scan the QR code right here and claim your offer. All right, guys, here is a project taken on you guys recommended to me i came down to this pond a couple weeks ago i showed it to you there was a snapping turtle big old snapping turtle on this pond but you can see this is a lovely pond here i showed you this pond i said what are we going to do with it it's uh, dry one important thing about this pond is we use this during our grazing time which is basically may to august depending on how much rain we get but depending on that we graze the bison back here. So this is part of the burn unit. This happens just about every year. It stops raining in July. Not even enough in August to call it rain. And then nothing through September. And here we are in October. And this is what happens. But this is reality. We don't have water back here. So all we have is a creek. And we've got two ponds in the burn unit. And this is one of them. Here we go. Project we're going to take it on right now. We may have to get an excavator. We may get a bulldozer. Big boy. I'm going to see what I can do with my skid steer. But the first things first, we're going to clean up this pond dam real quick. Pretty sunset right there, that's what it's all about. Man, that looks so much better. As you can see, I got a little carried away with the uh, shredder here. By the way, that's my brother-in-law from Arms Family Homestead, that's Daniel. I gotta give Daniel a big thank you for letting me borrow that bad boy. I mean, I could keep that forever and clearing out all this brush. But I know, <laughs> I told you guys, I'm like, yeah, today we're gonna start digging out this pond you know, one bucket at a time with the skid steer. But you know, when you got the shredder, you might as well use it. I don't even know the correct term for it. Brush cutter, tree reaper. I don't, I don't know what you call it technically, but it's a bad dude. Another project I've got going on is I'm doing a brush removal. And so this is brush removal. The number one a species of trees is a cedar tree. There you go, right? The other thing that I'm doing along with the shredder is I'm cleaning up underneath these big native pecan trees. By the way, we're going to start harvesting our own native pecans. Yes, Marissa and I hopefully in November will be harvesting our own native pecans. So just like right here, here are some pecans. In order to harvest these dudes, we got to get up the limbs so high so that you can get the harvester underneath it. 
pick up all the pecans. Two, you gotta get all the debris underneath them. They like to drop limbs, bushes, any sort of undergrowth or woody brush, cedar can grow underneath these pecan trees and actually suffocate them, uh, take water from them and things like that. So look, you can actually see the pond dam. Once I get the grapple, I use the bucket and clean all this off and get all of uh, the trees down, the debris, all this underbrush, get it out of here. Um, we'll be able to start scooping that dirt out. And one of the main reasons I wanted to get the brush is whenever I did start hauling the dirt out, I was going to actually pile it back on the back of the dam. You guys let me know what you think. I'm not a heavy uh, equipment operator at all. I can run a skid steer. I can run a tractor farming and ranching, right? Speaking of that, I never talk about clothing or anything like that, but I wore this shirt today because this is actually my grandpa's. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It says Carl Baker. Uh, when he was at the Veterans Center, they, on all of his shirts, they put their name tag and, and iron it into all their shirts. So when they do the laundry, they won't get it lost and they know who it belongs to. So my grandfather passed away about a month before Brooks was born in 2020. Unfortunately, she didn't get to meet him. He would have loved her. His name's Papa Coke, Carl, but people call him Coke Baker. And so this is my dad's dad. But when he passed away, my dad got all of his flannels. Well, my dad doesn't wear them. And so I got all of my Papa Coke's flannels, the old school pearl snap, long sleeve. I love them, absolutely. And today, I knew that I'd be out here doing some of this pond building and stuff. Well, my Papa Coke used to build ponds. He used to build flood controls and dams and things like that. And he was a big heavy equipment oper operator for several years. So he wore these, but anyways, I wore this for him. I wear these all the time. So if you see me kind of wearing these pearl snaps, a lot of them are actually his. And um, so he was, uh, he did a lot of stuff like this and he'd be proud of me. He'd probably be laughing at me actually from me getting after it up here on this skid steer. And I, I don't hold back guys. And you ask anybody in my family, they know that. So uh, if I've got the equipment and the tools, I, I just hammer down. I may break a couple of things here and there, but so I'm sure my Papa Coke would laugh, but we still got a, we got a long ways to go, but this pond looks so much better. You guys take a look at that. Heck yeah, that looks so much better. We've got, oh, probably about 10 gallons of water laying out there. Not a lot, but hey, look, you can actually see the persimmon tree. I didn't even know a persimmon tree existed right there. Big pecan tree. I cut trees around it. We got to cut some more of these. Here's another pecan tree that we're saving. There's a lot of this good stuff, right? It's all for the land and for the bison. We still got work to do. I want to give a big thank you to Upside for sponsoring us today. I want to give a big thanks to Upside for sponsoring us today. Download the free Upside app, and next time you go to the grocery store, a gas station, guys, and it's free to download, and uh, use the code BISON. Get an extra 25 cents back on every gallon on your first tank of gas. Use the link below or scan the QR code. Thank you guys for watching us. We're going to keep ranching, raising the American bison.